Hi, I'm Adobe Stock Artist Evangelist, photographer, and stock contributor, Matt Hayward. In this quick class, we're gonna talk about how to create a contributor count for Adobe Stock. I know that you're ready to become a contributor to Adobe Stock. Before you can do that, however, you have to create a contributor account. Here's the great news. This process is both free and easy. All that's required is an Adobe ID, which is also, conveniently enough, free and easy. You don't need an active Creative Cloud subscription to be a contributor at Adobe Stock. That said, if you do have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, you can use the same Adobe ID. Doing so can provide some advantages, such as uploading directly through Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, or Adobe Bridge. So to get started, visit the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal at contributor.stock.adobe.com. If you don't already have that Adobe ID, click the Join Now button on the landing page to create your free Adobe ID. Assuming you do have an Adobe ID, click the Link My Adobe ID button found in the center of the landing page. Once there, enter the Adobe ID that you intend to use for your Adobe Stock Contributor account. Now, enter your Adobe ID password. Click the Upload My First Asset button to complete the registration process. It's important that you click this button even if you're not actually prepared to upload your first asset yet. The first thing that you should do once you're in the portal is click the Contributor Account link found at the top of the portal. Confirm that your first and last name are accurate, and then set your public facing display name by hovering your mouse over the display name and clicking the edit icon. This display name is what customers will see on your portfolio page. You wanna make sure it's something professional. It's also what'll be used when uh, customers use your portfolio name for a photo credit. Scroll down further to set your email preferences. If you would like to receive notification emails showing daily moderation summaries, be sure to have that box selected. If you would like to receive a daily email showing your total earnings from the day prior, be sure to check that box. In your adobe.com account, you can opt in to receive marketing emails from your favorite Creative Cloud products, including Adobe Stock. Sign up for the Adobe Stock Contributor Newsletter to get the latest stock industry insights, calls for content, live stream invitations, and a lot more. Finally, select the Add Tax Information button you must submit a valid tax form to avoid paying the maximum withholding rate on your Adobe stock sales. That's all there is to it. Now you're ready for the truly fun stuff. Be sure to check out our other quick class videos for detailed information on how to upload, submit, and sell your content at Adobe stock.